It is about a 15 minute walk from where the players are staying to the Madame Athletic Center by way of Young Street. Kentucky players are featured on the billboards here in Toronto all week. And Young Street is one of the longest streets in the world. Seriously, everywhere you go in Toronto, it feels like you're on Young Street. This is the second safest city in the world, and really, anywhere we walked at any time of the day or night, we felt completely safe. Jack Pilgrim and I could not get over just how clean the entire city was. It's full of places to eat with 8,000 restaurants and some familiar establishments and some not so familiar establishments to those of us from Kentucky. Toronto is also the most multicultural city in the world. It is the largest city in Canada and the fourth largest city in North America. Within the city, Toronto is closing in on 3 million people. In the greater Toronto area, the population is almost 6.5 million. The Madame Athletic Center opened November 12, 1931. This is the building where the Toronto Maple Leafs have won 11 Stanley Cups. And it's where the first ever NHL All-Star game was played in 1947. The actual basketball arena was located on the third floor, so a couple escalator trips. The venue is more than just hockey, obviously. The Maple Leaf Gardens was the first to host an NBA game with the Toronto Huskies taking on the New York Knickerbockers. The Maple Leaf Gardens was named a National Historic Site of Canada in 2007 because it was one of the most renowned shrines in the history of hockey. It was the largest arena in the country when it was built, and it's one of the country's foremost venues for large-scale sporting events such as boxing matches and track meets and Global Jam. And it was behind these glass doors that Jack Pilgrim and I produced several Sources Say episodes. At one time, the Madame Athletic Center would hold 16,182 people. Currently, it seats just shy of 4,000. And on Thursday night, it was a pretty mixed crowd of Canadian fans and Kentucky Wildcat fans. The Madden Athletic Center has hosted many big names, from the Beatles to the Who to Elton John, Elvis, Winston Churchill, Muhammad Ali, and the biggest so far, the Kentucky Wildcats. Hey! 